in the previous topic we have discussed about the multiple fusion fragmentation and regeneration in this video we are going to discuss about another method of asexual reproduction that is gamete and spore formation which is also known as sporulation let's dive with the gamete gamete are unicellular or multicellular green structures which are present in the rounded gamete cups the shape of the cups can vary from one species to the another species suppose you have a teaspoon and it is filled with sugar that crystal sugar consider that spoon as a rounded structure means gamete cups and that sugar particles at gamete so when favorable condition comes these gamete come out of the cup they fall on the substratum to form a new thalli and such type of asexual reproduction can be seen in mercantia mercantia is used for the prevention of the infected open wounds so this was all about the gamete now we are going to discuss about the spore formation or sporulation now what are spores spores are reproductive body that can give birth to a new organism and such type of asexual reproduction can be seen in protista fungi algae etc so there are different types of spores these spores can be motile and non motile the motile spores are known as zoospores and non motile spores are known as conidia and sporangiospores so these are the kind of spores which can be seen in different fungi algae etc you all of us must have done a simple experiment in your lower grades to see the presence of fungi on a bread and this is known as bread mold if not then i'll give you a homework please do it take a slice of bread and sprinkle some water over it and place that bread in a closed cabinet where there is a high humidity after some day you will notice a cottony green white structure over the bread what is this cottony structure this cottony structure is the fungus but how does it takes place let me show you with the help of a non motile spore that is sporangiospore here you can see the structure of a sporangiospore for example if you take the small portion of that cottony structure under the microscope you will see the structure like this now here you can see in the microscope that is a bulb like structure known as sporangium now this sporangium consists of million numbers of spores and when they get the humid conditions like when the bread is kept in the closed cabinets they get the humidity so when the fungals they get the humidity condition then it is favorable conditions for them then these sporangia will burst and the spores will be released out and these spores will fall on the bread then each spore suppose see there are the millions of spores and each spore is generating into a new fungi so this is how in few days a small section of the fungi means the cottony structure gets spread over the whole bread so this was the asexual mode of reproduction by the spore formation so here we came at the end of this video in this session we have discussed about the gamete and spore formation which is known as sporulation in the future sessions we are going to discuss about another method of asexual reproduction till then keep watching tutor app